Hi everybody and welcome back to Cozy Corner Crafts. This craft is for September 11th and we want to thank our sponsor for our whole year's sponsored Cozy Corner Crafts and they are ACI Architects Inc. and they did the whole year which is pretty amazing. So today's craft is going to be an apple and a worm craft. I'm going like a worm and an apple? Very strange. Okay, so in your craft kits, you're going to get a black piece of paper, which is going to be the stem for our apple. You're going to get a green piece of paper, and it's up to you if you would like to make two leaves for your apple or one leaf. I'm going to do one leaf. Then you're going to get our favorite googly eyes. And the last thing you're going to get is a popsicle stick. So this is going to be our worm. So first of all, what we're going to do is let me put this over to the side. And what I did is I took the green piece of paper and I made a very big leaf. It's just a very big apple. Then I'm going to take my stem, which I already showed you. And that's going to be just glued at the top of the apple. And you can leave this whatever size you want. If you want a short stem, you can make a short stem or you can make a longer stem. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go and take our popsicle stick and we're going to make lines on the worm. Okay, let me put this to the side for a second. Let's bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have a green felt pen, but you could use whatever color you want for it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make lines on here for the lines. And have you guys seen any caterpillars around lately? But this is not a caterpillar, right? This is a worm. And sometimes there are worms in apples, which is kind of strange, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two googly eyes and I'm going to hot glue them on. And you guys definitely can use regular glue. You can use um, glue sticks, whatever works and whatever is safe. So here are our two eyes on our worm. And I think I'm going to draw a face for him. There's his nose and he's smiling because he loves then what we're going to do is we're going to actually very carefully make um, some cuts in here. And like I said, maybe I'll just fold it in half a tiny bit. And so what it's supposed to do is so, oh, can you guys see? I'm just making two cuts, little cuts, so that I can take my worm and he won't get lost. So what I'm going to do is go onto the back and push it in. So can you see it on the back? And so now there's the worm in the apple. So what you can also do is if you want to, actually you should, <laughs> is color this all red. So if you have paints, just to color it all in red would be really cool because it's bright green apple, bright red apple. But you know what? There's also green apples and there's sometimes yellow apples. So it's up to you what color you would like to um, use your um, for your apple okay so now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put our apple leaf on and our stem okay so let's show you how you do this so again I'm going to use my lovely leaf and I'm going to take my hot glue 
going to put the leaf on my apple and then I'm going to and I'm going to leave this really long I like it long do you guys have apples in your backyard or do you know anybody who has the apple trees I have two apple trees in my backyard and if you want to come and tell me if you have apples in your backyard you can tell me okay so this is the craft, how I did it. And remember, you can make it however you like. And if you want to, you can send the pictures for your finished craft to info at ornvillelibrary.ca. And we'll see you at story time if you come, 1030 to 11 on Thursday mornings. Thank you. Bye, guys.